Is every single Ray's Week episode going to likely start with some sort of Target haul? Possibly. What can I say? Today is Friday. I went to Target while Zaya was at school after I finished up my work for the day. Most of this stuff is not for me. 99% of this stuff is not for me. So let me explain. So here's the rundown. A few things are going on like within my little friend group, which I feel like I haven't really like talked about this or explained this. I feel like this kind of needs to be like its own podcast episode. Stay tuned for the podcast coming soon, depending on when you're watching this video. But I've been really happy lately because I actually feel like I have such a good friend group like a local friend group, which has never been the case. The last time that I felt like I had a good friend group like this was honestly like maybe in high school. I had like my little local friend group and we all obviously lived in the same area so we were able to like do things together. But there was a long stretch of time, like especially after college, like after I had Zaya, I just felt like I didn't have like a solid friend group. You know, like my best friends were in a different city and I just didn't feel like I had that many friends or like different types of friends who are into different things, but now I do. And it's been really nice to be able to like hang out with them and connect them and like celebrate each other's achievements. And like I even work with some of my friends like Taylor and Rel, they are some of my best friends, but Rel is my photographer, Taylor is my social media manager. And then I also have Sadie, Kanisha, I, I have Ogden, Ogden is the OG. And I have Daisha and Age who have always lived in Dallas, so like four hours away, which was always kind of a bummer. But Daisha, Daisha is moving back to Austin. We're both from Austin. So anyway, I have like this whole friend group, right? Things have been going great in the friend group and we've all been like having like really good news. Like we've all been achieving things or reaching certain goals or like, just different things. So anyway, long story kind of short, I went to Target because I wanted to basically like get gifts for everybody. And I'm planning on giving them the gifts tomorrow because tomorrow I'm hosting like a seafood boil dinner party celebration at my house for just like the immediate like circle of friends that I listed. You know, with COVID and everything, we still have to be careful, but we just keep everything within our pod. We get tested regularly. Like we make sure that we're being safe and careful. Everybody like works from home and everything like that. But I still been wanting to figure out like little ways to be able to entertain and like have my friends over and just do nice things for my friends and be able to hang out with them. Cause I'm like, I have friends now who are here in my city. Like I want to entertain. I want to use this house, use this kitchen. So I've been trying to like think of like little things to do. So if you guys did not see the video that me, Sadie and Rel did a while back where we did a seafood boil, that actually turned out bomb AF. Okay, the food was bomb. It was a fun experience. It was fun to make it fun to eat it so we're like let's do it again but let's like invite everybody this time and let's just celebrate all the things that have been going on within our friend circle so i'm hosting tomorrow and i decided to get everybody little gifts so the rundown is first things first it's sadie's birthday coming up so for sadie's birthday i got her this really cute coral pink purse and it also comes with a crossbody so inside of her purse I am going to be packing it with all types of travel toiletry essentials. So like the little mini shaving cream, body wash, mouthwash, toothbrush, razor, makeup wipes, deodorant, Advil, hand sanitizer, all the little mini travel things that you need. So obviously the main gift is the purse itself, but I wanted to pack it with something so it would be something else with it. And the reason why I wanted to do the little travel stuff is because we as a friend group are actually going on a little vacation and it's kind of to celebrate her birthday as well. So I thought this would be perfect for her to kind of just already have her little toiletries together for the trip that we're gonna be taking. I don't wanna say, where we're going or anything just yet, stay tuned. And yes, I know there's still a pandemic going on, but don't worry, we are being as safe as possible, as smart as possible, following all the guidelines, staying to ourselves, sticking to ourselves. We just wanna go out and enjoy nature and enjoy the scenery. We're not trying to be out in the clubs, in the restaurants and be around people. We are trying to go outside and enjoy 
just a break in that sense. So then I got a whole second set of all those toiletries that I just pulled out. I have two sets of them because for Daisha, I got her all the toiletries and I got her this really cute like pajama slash loungewear set. So it's these little like sweatpants shorts, super soft and fleecy with a matching crop top sweatshirt thingy. Like so cozy, really cute. It's got like this nude leopard print on it. So pajamas and toiletries for Daisha because she is moving and we always joke about how like my guest room is really like her room. So whenever she's here, like she gets to stay in the guest room. And so I thought it was cute to kind of be like, here's your pajamas and your toiletries to like keep in my guest room because you're gonna be living here now. So you're gonna be over here all the time now. So you might as well just have a set of stuff, like spend the night stuff at my house cause you're gonna be here. And it's just to like say congrats because the reason why she's moving is because she got a new job. So I wanted to get her a little something to celebrate that and say congrats and kind of like play off of the little theme or whatever. So that's for Daisha. Then for my other friend, Kanisha, she just got her own apartment, moved out, got her own first apartment and got a new job. So I wanted to get her kind of more like a housewarming gift. See, there's just, everybody's getting new jobs, new apartments, birthday, celebration, all types of stuff. So I'm like, I'm getting something for everybody. So for Kanisha's housewarming, I got her this really cute mug and then the way I'm gonna pack it up I got her all these nice wooden kitchen utensils which I have some of these and I really like them they're cute but they're also functional so I was thinking to put it in here like this and then I got her a little basket because you always just need like little baskets and stuff like around the house so I was thinking to like pack it like this you know, like a little gift basket and put tissue paper and put like a ribbon around it, like a little DIY housewarming kitchen gift basket. The last two people are Taylor and Rel. So Taylor, Rel and I, what we're celebrating mostly is just the success that we've seen through me bringing them onto my team to help me with my Instagram. I just reached 350,000 followers, which is a milestone, a goal for me. I wasn't really gaining followers very much before working with them. But since working with them, I hit 350K. I landed, I think I said in my other vlog, I landed like some really big brand deals for Instagram and they've just been really helping me take things to the next level. So that's what I'm celebrating at the Seafood Boil tomorrow. And I wanna celebrate them for helping me do that. So I wanted to get them a little something for that. So for Rel, my photographer, I got him this camera strap sling thing. It's like a special camera strap that that's supposed to make it more comfortable and easier to like use your camera because he has like the big DSLR camera with the big lenses and stuff. So I thought he could get some use out of that. And then for Taylor, her color is green, all green, everything. So when I saw this, first of all, it's so cute. Snake skin and like uh, suede with a gold zipper. It is a tech organizer. So it holds your charging cables, your earbuds and more. And I feel like you could just use it for whatever you want to use it for. She's Coder Bay. She's my social media manager. So I just thought this was like the cutest thing. And if she wants to use it for toiletries or makeup or whatever, that's fine too. But I just thought a tech organizer for my tech girl. And it's in her brand colors. It matches her office and everything. So I thought that was really cute. So that's for Taylor. And then then I did get two things for myself. Only two things, okay? I got myself this purse. I don't know why I was just really drawn to it. It does come with the crossbody strap, but I really mostly like it for the, wait. Oh, you can't. I was about to be mad because I don't really want the long strap. I like it with just a little short strap. It's got gold hardware. It's just like a unique little shape. Cute little purse. Looks kind of designer, right? And I also just got a makeup eraser little towel. Thing. Mostly things for other people, so I don't really feel bad. All right, so it is Saturday morning, still morning. Got up and went to Costco and HEB this morning. I forgot my phone, my camera, everything at home, but went to get the goods for the seafood boil. This is only part of the ingredients. I was in charge of getting the seafood, so I got all this shrimp, lobster, crab, two different kinds of crab, two different kinds of shrimp, a lot of stuff. Everybody else is pitching in and bringing like all the other ingredients. I also got a couple bottles of my favorite Kool-Aid wine, children's wine as I like to call it. This one is one of my favorites and this 
passion mango one. I also got butcher paper this time because that is something that I didn't have last time to just be able to like lay it out. Like I'm thinking I'm just gonna cover the whole countertop with butcher paper so we can like dump the seafood out and everybody can just sit in a line and eat like that. Party shelf is dwindling down quite a bit actually, finally. I always end up with all these bottles left over from different parties because I don't drink them on a normal day. Uh, we got some tequila, some rum, some red wine, champagne. We got some whiskey, we got some stuff. I also have these four locos <laughs> left over from my 2000s themed party. I'm sure nobody wants this. These were really just like for props. I mean, hey, if you want to get crazy, we got this. When I got back from the store, I had the mobile car wash and detailing people come over to my house to do my car. Highly recommend a service like this to get a deep, deep clean right in your driveway. Cause y'all know Zaya be messing up my car. That back seat be destroyed. It's super convenient cause you could just be like, hey, I'm gonna be home from this time to this time. Can y'all come over and do my car? So while I'm here doing whatever, my car is getting washed. And they do a super good job too. Cause before when I like took my car to the detailing place, then you gotta like sit there and wait. You know what I mean? You're at the place like just like, so this way I can at least be at my house being productive while they do that. And I can also keep an eye on them like y'all. Y'all missed a spot. <laughs> Honestly, days like today make me feel like a successful person. What does success mean to me? What does reaching my goals mean to me? It means being able to have the financial freedom to have the mobile car wash people come to my house. Having the financial freedom to go to Costco and buy seafood, to invite my friends over, to celebrate my friends accomplishments and things like that. That's what makes me feel successful. Like it's like little things like that. Like being able to have a housekeeping service come to my house and like help me take care of this house that I invested in and just like different things like that. It's not really about like buying a whole bunch of fancy cars and fancy clothes and designer this and designer that and diamond jewelry and designer bags and stuff like that. It's more like the services and the experiences that I'm able to pay for. That's what makes me feel like successful, I guess. That's what financial freedom feels like to me, being able to like do certain things versus just buy material things. Which I mean, if you wanna buy some material things, that's on you, nothing wrong with that. We have, we all have different things that like make us happy. Just, I don't know why I'm telling you all this, but just a little positive thought of the day. I'm very grateful for all of this. But y'all, I was in the process of actually trying to clean up and organize my glam room. And then I came in here and did a PR unboxing last night. So now I just completely re-destroyed. Bougie, you better not be eating that paper. But yeah, I completely destroyed my glam room. These are all the new products that I opened. This is all the recycling trash. Maya is gonna be in charge of this on Monday, when she comes to work on Monday, I'm just gonna leave this for her, cause that's her job. But all this stuff and all this stuff on the table, I need to organize and I don't feel like doing it right now. Bougie loves these little um, packing paper things, but he be wanting to eat it and you're not supposed to eat that. I got him this little cat window thing. I talked about it on my uh, Instagram stories. It's from Amazon, I can link it for you guys, but I thought he would like it cause he's always in here. He always wants to be in the sunlight in here, but he hasn't really been using it. He just wanna be in here, be bad instead of stop just lay here and relax and be a good boy just like stop stop wow see just relax stop destroying everything okay so one thing about me if you don't already know this about me you gonna learn this about me I love a good theme okay when it comes to like throwing little shindigs little parties little get-togethers anything where you can have like a theme to it I love that I have so much fun like putting it together so this little get together that we're having tonight for the seafood boil, it was not supposed to be like a full blown party whatsoever. I came up with the idea yesterday, asked my friends if they would be available and threw it all together in less than 24 hours. So it's literally just supposed to be a couple friends coming over. But I'm sitting here thinking like, <laughs> I have a few hours until people start showing up. What do I do with myself? Let me be a little extra. So it's gonna be, Welcome to Ray's Crab Shack. Like Joe's Crab Shack, we're gonna do Ray's Crab Shack. I think I'm going to make a little sign. <laughs> 
and I have gloves, I have butcher paper. I feel like we need a signature cocktail because normally I try to do like something cute like that. Like if I do like for Christmas, I had like little special cocktails. So I just had the idea like, what if I do like a underwater, under the sea themed cocktail? Since you know, it's the seafood boil and everything. So I just came up with it. I don't know if it's, I feel like it's gonna taste good because it's gonna be so sweet. But I came up with the idea of, so either with tequila or vodka and then and you know these little gummy worm, sour gummy worms, but they're octopus shapes. Get some of those and then get some Swedish fish and some nerds and some of this Calypso Ocean Blue, Blue Raspberry Lemonade. So I'm thinking, and I hope it works, but I'm thinking like you take the glass, you put the nerds in the bottom of the glass to act as like, it kind of looks like the little rocks in a fish tank or like the little rocks at the bottom of the sea. And then you make a mixed drink with like, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the Calypso Blue Lemonade and Sprite and either like tequila or vodka. So it'll just be like a spiked lemonade. And then put the little octopus and the little Swedish fish floating around in there. And I got the little drink umbrellas to like put on top of the drink. Ah, isn't that so cute? A little blue ocean lemonade. That is why we have shipped and we have the grocery delivery apps because I can get this stuff delivered in like an hour. So I don't have to go back to the store, so. I'm gonna order all the stuff for the drink. And I'm trying to think like, I feel like we need some sort of appetizer. Like I know we're gonna have a lot of food with the seafood boil, but we're gonna have to like, ooh, like people are gonna be here and we're gonna be cooking it. Like I'm not cooking it. It's not like I'm cooking it and it's gonna be ready when everybody gets here. No, y'all gonna come and y'all gonna help me cook it. So in the meantime, I feel like we need something to snack on. So I'm trying to think like, what can I get? So I'm literally going on Joe's Crab Shack's menu to see like, what do they have as appetizers? Now for the raised crab shack sign. See, this is why I keep all type of foolishness upstairs in the craft room and everything, because you never know when you might need to bust out some foolishness for a special occasion. I have these two poster boards in the craft room, so I think if I like connect them together to make like a big sign. And then I have, I'm thinking I could like use some of this card, colorful cardstock paper and cut out the letters and the shapes on the Cricut raised crab shack, which should be blue. I gotta think about how I wanna brand my restaurant. I feel like different shades of blue because it's under the sea, you know. Joe's Crab Shack is red, but I think we're gonna do blue. Cut out the letters and cut out like a little shape of like a crab to put on there. <laughs> Why do you do that? Literally every single time I turn the camera on, Bougie comes and steps directly in front of it and puts his butt directly in front of it. There is no reason why you need to be standing here other than the fact that you want to put your booty in the camera. Why do you do that? That is so disrespectful. And I have to keep this sign because you know what? This might become like an annual tradition at my house. Raise Crab Shack because we did it last year for the first time. Me, Sadie, and Ro. That was last year when we did the seafood boil. And now we're doing it again by adding more friends into the mix. And I feel like I want to make this like a little tradition. Wait. I've been trying to take note and teach myself how to use the Cricut design space where you like create everything and the actual machine to cut it out because y'all know I always ask my mom and I never learned how to do it myself, but she leaves everything over at my house. The Cricut lives at my house. So we gonna see new project. My mom did come over here for, I know she was dropping something off and while she was over here, I did have to ask her a couple questions, but now I know how to do it. And I'm gonna do the second round myself, but I got the letters. I'm peeling them off. This is gonna be so cute. Okay, wait, I was in the middle of making my sign and then Daisha just texted me and said that she is on her way over to my house. She's coming early because she's in town looking at apartments and she just finished. So she's gonna be obviously like the first one over here. And I still haven't wrapped everyone's gifts and I don't want her to see. Let me go up to my craft room. So I was like, what's going on? Yes. And when she comes over, I'm gonna ask if she can spend the night with us. Then I'm gonna play with her with my baby doll. 
Oh. You're gonna have to clean this up before the people come. We don't want everybody to trip over all this stuff. Okay, but not just yet. You have a couple hours. Is Daisha almost, 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 almost here? Yeah, she's almost, almost, almost here. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. You haven't seen her in a while. Mm -hmm. Well, um, when I was free, I have seen them because um, they um. That's you've seen her since you've been four, too. For Daisha and Sadie's gifts, since I got them all those toiletries, I thought it would be nice to put them in a toiletry bag. And I actually have a lot of these little bags that are like, a lot of them are brand new because they always come with PR packages. So I'm trying to see if I can just use maybe one of these that I already have because I didn't get one. Should have thought about that. These two might work, but I don't like the fact that this has a brand on it. I want like a plain one. Okay, I actually found two bags. This is like a nice little mesh travel bag and then like another kind of similar one. They have like little brand names on them, but I think it's fine. This is not the important part of the gifts. I just want to have something to put it in that they can actually like use and reuse. You know, reuse and recycle. Making use of what I got instead of creating more waste. Y'all don't judge me, but for reusing my PR gifts as part of gifts, but I got some PR from Kendra Scott. And so one of the sets of jewelry that they sent me, it's like orange and it kind of like matches with this. And it made me think of Sadie. So I'm gonna give her some of my Kendra Scott PR. Like obviously I spent my own money, but I'm adding in some, some freebies. Don't judge me, okay? I just wanna, I feel bad receiving all this stuff. And yes, I do giveaways and stuff like that, but I just want the stuff to go to a good home. So I'm just constantly trying to like <laughs> give it away, basically. So I'm gonna give Sadie some of this Kendra Scott jewelry, but they're gonna know, like Sadie is gonna know that I didn't buy this. So it's not like I'm trying to like trick her, like, oh, I bought you some Kendra Scott jewelry, but really I received it for free and just gave it to you. Like, it's not a scam. I'm gonna tell her that I didn't buy this, but you know what I mean? <laughs> We're close enough friends to where I can do that. And then I need to wrap up Taylor, Rel, and Kanisha's gift as well. And again, with the reduce, reuse, recycle, I always keep a stash of gift wrap and whatnot up here in the craft room. Some of it is like brand new, never been used. Some of it has been used and I'm just recycling it. But either way, who really cares? I try to be kind of sustainable with some stuff that I do as to not waste extra materials. See, look at all these perfect good gift bags. Why go out and create more waste when you could just reduce, reuse, recycle? These, these are perfectly good. Some of them look like they weren't even used. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, boom, here is Kanisha's little housewarming gift basket. It's harder than I thought to style a gift basket, but this is what I came up with. I put everybody else's stuff in just the little gift bags. So I'm gonna go hide this upstairs and then I will bring it out, obviously, when everybody gets here. If y'all ever are curious what Zaya is up to while I'm doing my thing, She's doing her thing. Baby dolls, baby dolls, all day, every day. Okay, but now that I got all the gifts wrapped and squared away, I can come back to my little craft here. So now I think I know how to do it myself. So I have some crabs that I wanna cut out and I got my paper. So let's see if I can do this without my mom's help. Okay, cutting. Oh no! That doesn't seem right. Stop. I think it was trying to cut on this part. Why didn't it take the paper all the way in? Okay, I think I figured it out. I think I just barely didn't push this thing far enough in there. So now if I press cut, I think it should work. There we go. Hey, look at me, Cricut Queen. You probably can barely see it, but my first Cricut cut that I did all by myself. Okay, so I got all the pieces cut out and pulled apart. Is this not, come on, this came out better than expected. Is this not cute or what? I think I'm gonna put, like layer this on top of this. So it's like crab shack and then put the little crabs around it. Wow, I need to open up a restaurant. Come on now. Okay, now I just need to glue everything down. And voila, here's my restaurant's billboard sign, whatever. I made it to where the crab is holding the letters, get it? <laughs> and I added a little established in 2020 because the tradition started last year. I'm very proud of it. What do you think, Saya? Um, I 
like it, but um, I wish it would be better more if it had you and me stickers on it, of our faces. Remember we had those? Yeah, but it doesn't really go with the theme. I think somebody's here. Bougie, you don't go. Oh! <laughs> I saw you from my, uh, I was in my glam room. Oh, race, race, race. <laughs> How you doing? It's like, you always act so nonchalant trying to play it off. She has been asking and asking. And now you just go act like you don't care. Oh my goodness! Uh, it's me, it's me! I'm in the back business. in the city, back, back in the in town. The What's up? How are you? How's your baby? She's sleeping right now. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, yeah, be quiet. All right, y'all. So I just got my stuff delivered. My little ingredients for the signature cocktail. I want to test it out to see if it's even gonna look or taste how I think it is. Of course, Zaya is curious about the candy. Okay, so making this up as I go along, in my little shaker I have ice. I'm gonna do a shot of tequila. This would probably be better with maybe some different flavored vodkas or whatever, but. Two shots of vodka. Two shots of vodka. And then we gonna do some of the Calypso Ocean Blue. Oh, it's called Ocean Blue. I guess that's it to just shake that together. I only have like two of these glasses, but whatever. So we got tequila and blue lemonade in here. We're gonna shake that up. I can't shake it because this is not the right top. And then you get the nerds as the bottom of the ocean. So like this. So pour this over it. Dang, I didn't even make enough. <laughs> And then maybe this will make it look like, you know how the ocean be kind of foamy? Oh no. <laughs> Psych. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, and then, then you get the octopus, the sea creatures. Little octopus. You can't see it. <laughs> it's too murky. And little Swedish fish. You just have to like. <laughs> I wanted it to be more clear so you can see. Maybe I should put less lemonade and more Sprite. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> then you top it off with a little drink umbrella. You have yourself a little under the sea. <laughs> uh, it, this is a Ray's Crab Shack specialty under the sea cocktail. Now let's taste it, because that's the other thing. What does it even taste like? Taste like coffee candy. Is it good? I mean, you know. <laughs> It's not the best drink I ever had, but it's not nasty. You want to taste it? Yeah, let me see. Let me see. I don't feel like tequila is the best <laughs> liquor for that. <laughs> Maybe with vodka. It, it's the tequila. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. It's yeah. The tequila and the sprite are not. That's why I said, like with a fruity vodka. Did you even put any tequila in here? I can taste it, but barely. It's not a whole bunch. Well, <laughs> I tried. They look like dead fish at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Revised. How do you get the ice? Just, it's already on. Oh. Still. Uh, these are the appetizers getting ready to go in the oven. I was trying to buy mozzarella sticks for everybody, but I didn't realize how small the box was when I placed my grocery order. So it's only eight mozzarella sticks, so one, <laughs> one per person. <laughs> everybody can have one, somebody can have mine. Waffle fries, sweet potato fries, just something to snack on while the boil is boiling. And then I perfected my, well, kind of perfected my little recipe. How do I put some of this? Yeah, I really was just eyeballing however you think. <laughs> All right. It's some of that, some Sprite, and some vodka. Oh, two shots of vodka. The little like octopuses right in the octopi, I guess, and fish. All right. Be careful with that shaker, though, because it's not very secure. Oh, now, I told you. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I mean. <laughs> Look at the ocean water All on the right. sea creatures. <laughs> okay, I like the garnish. Yeah. Just put a little octopus on the side. Chef Ray, head chef Ray. Look, see, I didn't help that much last time, but this time, 
Don't say I didn't do nothing. Whipping up the work, head yeah, chef. Ray can chef, big chef today. Big chef Ray, she even prepped the water. Big chef Ray. Wow. The stirring's the most important part. So. Wow. All right, ma'am, where are we at? Sausage, onion, all right, we're getting potatoes. somewhere. She got it in her eye. Got the spice in my eye. How your eye feel? Got the spice in my eye. Like, How am I gonna reach all the way down here to get the potatoes? Leave a comment to buy Raven a new eye. Get down in there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. 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 Why don't we take a look at it? I know you can't. Did we crack the eggs before you put the eggs? Oh, no, I just broke out. <laughs> you say it, so get out of here. Okay. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. We know who the childish hey, people are. They is <laughs> being ready. ready. What do you think? What's the review? Look at that. I'm enjoying myself. Everybody's hands clean. Hear ye, hear ye. First celebration is Sadie's birthday is coming up. Sadie's birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. The next celebration that is in order, Kanisha got her own place, a little house for me. Yeah, turn up. Next celebration is that Daisha got a new job. And, and she's moving to Austin, which I've been waiting for for a long time. And I just can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. And the next congratulations and celebration is to my social media team. I only had one bag, so I gotta share. That's okay, team. That's teamwork, exactly. Exactly, I just wanna celebrate the, the, well, we did reach 350 and then it went back down to 349, but that's okay. It's close enough. We made some major brand deal goals. And I just feel like y'all really been doing the damn thing when it comes to the Instagram. So I wanted to celebrate that as well. Amen. As for Lando and Ogden, y'all mean nothing to me. <laughs> next time, next time. I'm sure you got something coming up. That was so rude. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love y'all too. I'm like, yes, my back. You don't have one of those? I didn't know if you already have one. No, this no, is a different one. I don't have this. this and this I felt was so on brand for you. Yes, it's very, she's very It matches. Green. Your, She's your very brandy. Brand. It's going straight to the office. Oh, this is Here so cool. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Adesha, your explanation. You can open it. I have to explain oh. it. It's pajamas. There's a matching set. So since you're gonna be here now, I feel like you need your little set to like stay here. You know what I mean? So it's some toiletries in there too. If you wanna like keep your little set in the guest room. And then for you, this gave me Vibes. Yes. Yes. Especially after the oh, pictures I just oh, sent. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so then inside you have your little kit. Oh, there's a kit? For the trip. Oh. Don't sue me. I'm not gonna lie to you, I got this for PR, but I thought of you so you can what have it. What is it? Oh. It's, it's jewelry. I don't want you to think that I bought it. And yours is pretty obvious, the housewarming gifts. So your kitchen essentials. Yes, congratulations. Yeah. Good morning. It's Sunday morning, the morning after. Ray's Crab Shack, trying to finish cleaning up, but my garbage disposal doesn't work as a result of the snow apocalypse, and I still haven't gotten it fixed, so I'm kind of struggling. I'm trying to use my sink. Everybody helped clean up a lot last night so that there's not too much to do now. And then Zaya says she wants to make pink pancakes for breakfast this morning, so that's what we gonna do. Let mom's make them pancakes. 
pancakes. Wow, maybe I should leave it tie-dye like that. We just invented a new fun pancake. I'm making Daisha one of my Raven specialty coffees, the Super Froth Supreme. You guys have seen me do this many times, but I don't know if I've shown my new frother on my vlog. I talked about it on Instagram a lot. I like it now that I figured out how to work it and you know the best way to use it. I do really like it. Very nice results, as you can see. Dun dun dun! dun. Look at that thick froth. <laughs> taste this. <laughs> It's good. <laughs> a little sweet. <laughs> I made it sweet. You said make it sweet. Breakfast is served. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle stack. <laughs> is that what you wanted? Mm -hmm. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. I want the big pancake. Okay. So this jar used to be in my pantry and it had candy in it, but I moved the candy, cleaned it out, and now I'm gonna use it for my little odor defense beads. This thing probably hold like five of these. So fresh and so clean, clean. Ooh, yes. It do be looking kind of edible, but it's not. And I will be sure that everyone knows that. And it's kept nice and safe and sound out of children's reach. What's up? It's Monday. Zaya is at school. I've been working from my computer as usual. I do have a meeting with my Instagram team. I'm hungry and I also need to do a workout. I have this workout set on, which is actually from Amazon. Really cute color. I um, heard about this set from Julia Havens. Shout out to Julia. She doesn't know me. <laughs> I don't know if she even knows that I exist, but I kind of recently came across her on YouTube and Instagram. And I really like her style. I like her home decor style. I like her fashion, cute stuff. And she always posts like affordable finds, Amazon finds. So I saw a video where she was talking about this set. And I ordered it right away. The top is a little small. I need to go a size up next time. I mean, it still works, but it's just like, <laughs> but the leggings fit really, really well. Came in a bunch of colors. I can link it down below if you guys wanna check out this set. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little, a little stretching, a little workout, a little, my little posture workout and maybe like some abs and some glutes. Um, I don't really ever do cardio or a lot of upper body because honestly, I, I'm okay with my upper body as is. I really don't wanna tone up my upper body any more than it already naturally is toned, if that makes sense. Like I don't want any added anything to my upper body. So I kind of just wanna like leave that alone and then like work on the lower body. And um, I know cardio is good for building up stamina and just like other stuff besides losing weight Weight, but it does also cause you to lose weight. So like, I kind of have like a fear of cardio. But first, I'm gonna get my lunch going because I saw this on TikTok. So it's Hawaiian, hot Italian sliders on Hawaiian rolls. So I'm gonna do like a little variation. Uh, I was gonna say vegan, but definitely not vegan because I will be using real meat. Just dairy free, because I will not be using real cheese. My lip cracked back, it hurts so bad. This is what used to happen when I used to be on Accutane and my lips would be so chapped that they would just start crack, like the crease right here would start ripping. And I don't know why it's doing that right now, but it hurts so bad. Um, so if I'm like talking weird, that's why. But I have pepperoni and salami, dairy-free cheese. I'm gonna do the little butter on top, dip it in some marinara. I think it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna get that going. Then I'm gonna do my workout. Then I'm gonna eat after my workout. Then I'm gonna go to my, not go to my, join my Zoom meeting. Okay, so here are my ingredients. Uh, just regular Hawaiian rolls. I have sandwich size, like the giant pepperonis salami, I have the chow dairy-free cheese, which is definitely one of my favorites. It kind of reminds me of like provolone or gouda type vibe. Um, and then I have Follow Your Heart mozzarella, which I also really like the Follow Your Heart brand. I normally get, I think it's a provolone version that they have. 
but the mozzarella is not bad either. So I think I'm gonna use both of these cheeses together. Um, you know, I gotta put some chili onion crunch on literally everything I make. I have some sun-dried tomatoes that I think I might chop up because she used like peppers and I don't have that, but I think I'm gonna use this instead. And then the little butter seasoned drizzle to go on top. And then she said, just put this in the oven at 350 for like 20 minutes. I only did half the pack of rolls because I only, it's just for me. And also I'm just kind of testing it out. So, you know, if it's good, we could come back and do the other half another day, but this is definitely more than enough for me today. My lunch is in the oven. So in the meantime, about 2.45 now. I just finished my little quick little 30 minute workout. I'm stepping outside, cause it's cool outside. Get a little sweaty, start feeling the burn, and get stretched out and just feel active. Just a little, little something. Oh, it's not as cool out here as I thought it was. And my food is ready. Toasty. Pretty good. Almost forgot about uh, dipping it in the marinara sauce. It did feel like it was missing something. Let's try it like that. Mm, mm-hmm. You need, you need the marinara. Mm-hmm. That's the ticket. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The electrician just left and fixed my plugs or breakers that weren't working. He said basically something had came loose or was loose to begin with and he had to tighten something um, to get these plugs to start working again. And also my garbage disposal, which was the main thing. I had stuff back, especially after the seafood boil and everything. I was trying to avoid putting anything down here, but inevitably stuff got dropped down here and it was starting to back up and it was just getting real nasty. And I couldn't even, I still have this in here. <laughs> from Saturday because I want to dump it down the sink, but I need the disposal. So everything is fixed now. Ugh, that stinks. I just opened the lid, ew. So now I'm able to clean out my sink and everything and use the disposal. So that is good. I was able to dump that out. Now that I can properly use my sink, I got a bunch of dishes to do because we still had dishes left over from the seafood boil and just from yesterday, my sink was like clogged up. So my mom went and picked up Zaya from school because the electrician had to come right at the time that I would normally pick her up. So luckily I had my mom who's able to help me in times like that. So, um, and then Zaya said she wanted to go to Grammy's house anyway. So my mom is taking Zaya to her house to hang out for a little bit. So I'm gonna use this extra time. It's like five o'clock now. Um, I finished my meetings and everything. Well, didn't really finish everything I had to do for work today, but I'm gonna use this time while Zaya is at, at Grammy's house to, like I said, do the dishes and stuff and maybe finish up the content that I did not finish editing. Hmm. I know I say this all the time, but it ain't nine to five. It ain't nine to five when you work for yourself. Here is Monday night's dinner. In case anybody was curious, we are having garlic butter herb salmon, a lemon pepper broccoli, and some sweet plantains. I loaded up my plate because you know I'm trying to get thick 2021. <laughs> and Zaya's having the same thing, just chopped up in kids version. I'm just gonna eat the salmon and the, and the plantains. And the broccoli. You are gonna eat the broccoli. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Cause guess what? You're not gonna get anything else. No desserts, no snacks, no nothing. You're gonna be talking about, I'm hungry. I want a snack. I want a cookie. And I'm gonna say, no, eat some broccoli. All right guys, so it's Wednesday morning and today is... Wacky Wednesday. And what does that mean? That means you gotta wear wacky and crazy clothes. 
to school, right? Yeah. And you're just supposed to wear your craziest Mitch, Mitch match, mismatch outfit. So we've done this every year at Zaya's school. Basically, we just try to find some crazy stuff and wear stuff inside out. Let's see. I usually go for the most wild printed. These leggings are kind of boring. They're just black. This would be wacky to wear Valentine's leggings and then wear like, yeah, Valentine's leggings when it's not Valentine's Day and then put something on top that doesn't match, like this on top or something. You gotta make it look crazy. And for the socks, you should probably wear like, high socks so you can see them. Uh, I think I have some socks downstairs. You could even like wear your swimsuit on top of your shirt or wear your little swimsuit bottoms on top of here. That, now that would be wacky. This on top of this. Okay, so far we have Valentine's leggings with a mismatched skirt on top with an inside out shirt on top. Then okay. you need tall socks that are, you're gonna be able to see from your rain boots. These socks, you won't see them because they're gonna be down inside your boots, they're too small. So you can put one Christmas sock on. Christmas and Valentine's Day together? That's silly. So for Zai's hair, we wanna put some crazy stuff in her hair, like pipe cleaners or something. But Bougie likes to come in here and steal all the pipe cleaners. <laughs> so we only have a because, few left. Look, Bougie likes pipe cleaners. And he takes them all, all around the Yeah, house. see, he came running. This is his favorite thing. I don't even know how he gets them out of this second drawer. What else can we put in your hair? Let's see. What other accessories? How about we put bubble wands in my hair? Put what? Bubble wands. Bubble wands? Okay, here is the final Wacky Wednesday look. So we have one loose ponytail, one bun, pipe cleaners in the hair, bubbles hanging off of one of the pipe cleaners, a big tie-dye bow, mismatched scrunchies, crazy blue sunglasses, green necklaces, inside out shirt, mismatched gloves, mismatched skirt on top of mismatched leggings with mismatched Crazy socks. Okay, give us a pose. Another one, another one. Let's see the back. And rain boots to finish it off, although she wears those every day anyway. Ta-da! I think we did pretty good for throwing it together last minute. I think they're gonna get a kick out of the bubbles in the hair. I bet you they're gonna laugh at that. It's Wednesday, which means cleaning service is here and they usually do a really good job of just being as quiet as possible and just kind of being in the background i look like a mix between like a grandma and like a crazy 80s workout person like i got full curly fro it's giving justin timberlake in sync frosted tips yeah, I don't know if I said it on the vlog, but I'm kind of trying to grow my hair out just temporarily long enough to get some box braids. So I'm in a very awkward stage. Like normally I would definitely be cutting my hair. I would be re-dyeing it. I would be slicking it down. I would not be wearing it like this, but just for now, I'm kind of letting it breathe, letting it grow, letting it do its little natural thing so I can have enough hair to get some braids back here. I know I've got like enough up here, but like it's back here that I'm trying to like grow it a little bit more. So anyway, I dropped Zaya off at school. They had all their little like wacky Wednesday decorations. Zaya school is really cool. Like they do a lot of fun stuff. They basically do like a special day or a little party for every single holiday. Valentine's Day, Wacky Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. They want to dress up for that. Then they've got um, Holy or Holly. I don't know how you say it. It's like a Hindu. How do you pronounce it? Holy or Holly? H-O-L-I. The Festival of Colors where they have the colored powder that they throw. Let me show a picture. Like this. So you make this colored powder and you like throw it at everyone and it makes like this cool explosion and it gets all over your clothes and stuff. So they have the kids wear white t-shirts that you don't care about and then they like make the powder and they throw it. It's really cool, like they celebrate all different cultures and different types of like holidays and festivals. So it's always something going on at the school to like dress up for or bring something for. Anyway, I dropped her off, they had everything all decorated, all the kids were dressed up, so that's gonna be a fun day for her. Then I stopped at Starbies because I wanted to get the new brown sugar oat milk 
shaken espresso. This is my second time having it. Cause when I first tried it, I really liked it. So I wanted to go back for another one. I just get it exactly as it comes. Super good. <laughs> and I got myself a little bacon Gouda with no Gouda. So it's just egg, bacon, and bread. And then I put sriracha on it. I like this one and the um, sausage cheddar with no cheddar. Hey y'all, so it is Sunday. I don't think I've vlogged like the past like two days, but it's Sunday now and Sundays are often shoot days. So I spent, it's like five o'clock already, but I spent most of my day doing an Instagram photo shoot. If you guys have been keeping up with me and watching my vlogs, you know that I've been working with Taylor and Rel who um, have been helping me just kind of like up my content game for Instagram. So we normally like take a day and try to get a bunch of different types of photos and just kind of, you know, if I'm working on sponsor stuff or non sponsor stuff, just different creative ideas that we have. So that is what um, we did earlier today. So I will cut to some footage of that. Hello friends, we are at the Lumen Room in Austin and we are shooting organic content for the shoot. Zaya and Raven are back there with Rail. Um, we have a pretty short day till four. It's already like almost noon, so pretty standard shoot. And yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the room room too because it's cute in here, so. BTS right here. <laughs> Okay, so we're about to go from this to something editorial. Get ready for the transformation. Now don't be alarmed. It's editorial. That means it looks crazy on purpose. Here's the editorial makeup look that I threw together. The eyes are probably all creased up, but we got a glossy red lip, a matte red, glossy red lid, matte red lip. And I tried to do like a heavy blush, but, and then like wet hair, it's starting to dry now. Red outfit. I had a lot of gold jewelry on. It was a little evil vibe almost. But we just wrapped up. We did like four or five different looks. I don't even remember. Utilized all the different little vibes in here pretty much. It was a good little shoot. Good work, guys. So yeah, I think we did end up getting some good photos from today. Uh, we try to do bulk shooting. So it's like you just spend a couple of hours, but you get a bunch of different looks that you can kind of sprinkle it across your feed and have some variety in your feed. But I'm not gonna lie, today was like, like kind of a hard day when it comes to like my, I don't wanna say like my mental health, but I guess my mental health. Sometimes as a influencer, as a creator, as a YouTuber, as an Instagrammer, whatever you wanna call it, it gets annoying sometimes to have to always be the one who's in front of the camera, I'm not gonna lie. As fun as it is, and as much as I like my job, and as much as I always wanted to have this job, there are some days where it's like, I'm struggling with insecurities, I'm struggling with not liking what I see in the mirror that day for whatever reason, whether it be that I'm brave breaking out or I don't like how my hair is looking or I couldn't get my makeup to look right or this outfit doesn't look how I thought it would look on me. Whatever it is, like stuff that normal people go through on a, not a daily basis, but you know, normal people have those days, right? We all have those days where it just, you might look at yourself and just be like, no, <laughs> for whatever reason. But for me, I could be having one of those days. I could be having a really bad one of those days, but well, too bad, because we have a photo shoot scheduled. So you finna put this on, and you finna put, get in front of the camera, and you finna take these pictures, and you also finna post these pictures for thousands and thousands of people to see. So get over it. That's what happens sometimes. And today was kind of one of those days, just because like I've been breaking out, and I'm trying to grow my hair out to prepare for a certain hairstyle that I want 
But in the meantime, I feel like I'm in this very awkward stage of like, just not liking what my hair is doing, not liking what my skin is doing, just all of that. So I'm not gonna lie, you know, just to be real with y'all, it's not all fun, glamorous. Oh my God, I'm a model and this is like just so fun and so easy because sometimes, although it can be like physically easy, it's not mentally or emotionally easy. So I don't know, I'm just kind of like in a mood today because I'm just like, eh, feeling kind of blah and not like extremely happy with the photos that we took, not because they're bad pictures, but just because of like how I look in them. But you know, we're gonna look through the photos and through the power of editing, honestly, I'm sure we'll pull it together, but yeah. So it's like five o'clock now, we're home from that. Zaya was also, as you saw, um, in some of the photos. And since she did a good job, I'll say she, she was a little fussy and a little non-cooperative, but overall, it's hard for a four-year-old to take photos. So all things considered, she did a good job at the photo shoot. So I told her we could do something fun after. So what she wants to do, she is my child, of course. She wants to go to Target. <laughs> <laughs> because she wants to get a Lego set. Oh, that's my mom calling me, please hold. But yeah, Zaya said for her reward, she wants to go to Target because you want to get what at Target? I want to get a Lego set and come see my Barbies. A Lego set and come see what? Oh, you just want to show the vlog your Barbies? Mm -hmm. You have so many Barbies because Mattel literally sent you the entire collection. <laughs> of these Barbies. Yeah, and I also use this as a Barbie. First one Barbie, you can get all these Barbies, but um, we saved some of these Barbies, and the, I mean that this is where the baby gets to change it. Well, Zaya, I was trying to ask you about going to Target. What are you talking about? I'm talking about my Barbies and showing the blog, my baby doll. And okay, then, well, do you want to go to Target, or yes. what? I want to go to like, to Target. And we can get Frozen Mo Moana, and maybe they have Barbie Legos. Mm, I don't know if they have Barbie Legos. So Do you have your money? Yes. Because the reward is that I'm taking you to Target, but not that I'm buying you the toy for you. You have to buy the toy, because you've been saving up your money. So let's go see how much you have. Okay. Because you have to still learn the power of the dollar. Okay. Wow, you're rich. Where'd you get all that money from? <laughs> I'm doing my chores, so I got one. No, that's not one. What number is on there? Five. So that's five. Another five makes 10. What Eight. number is that? 20. So 10 plus 20 is? 15. No. <laughs> 10 plus 20 is 30. Five. So 30 and five makes? 31. What? <laughs> <laughs> 30 plus five makes 30. Five. 35, silly. A one. That's just one, so that's 36. Another 20. So that's 56. Another five. 50, no, wait, 61. Another 20. Dang, so that's 81. You almost have like $100. No, that's it. 81, 82, 83, 84. You have $84 in here? Mm -hmm. That's because grandmother be giving you $20 bills on holidays. Mm -hmm. That's where all these 20s came from because I don't be giving you 20s. On my birthdays and, and um, every holiday, grandmother always sends me cards. And did you know she gave me, gets me dollars too? Because grandma thinks I'm really nice and sometimes she calls me something really silly. What does she call you? She calls me this. What? Foodie. <laughs> Grandmother calls you booty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she used to call me that when I was little too. Okay, so we don't need to bring all this money. I think for a box of Legos, you should probably only need like maybe $25 at the most. I think it's more than enough for a little Target trip. And let's save the rest and put it back in your drawer. But yeah, back to what I was saying a second ago, I feel like another good way to think about it is like the average person takes a selfie or takes a picture and posts a picture of themselves when they're feeling cute, like when they're feeling their best. Like when you look in the mirror and you're like, dang, I look good today. My makeup came out good. My outfit is good you're gonna take a selfie and you might post a selfie. So that'll just be like every once in a while. Now, if I did that, if I only posted when I felt cute and when I felt most confident, then I would only be posting uh, once a month, okay? Because I struggle with insecurities and stuff. I don't be feeling confident all the time every day. I have my good times and I have my bad times. So I would only, you would only get a new Instagram photo from me 
maybe once a month <laughs> if I was really just waiting until I was like super confident. So obviously because of my job, it's like literally get over it, suck it up. <laughs> I don't care if you don't like the way you look, you gonna post. So yeah, that's just something that, mm -hmm. I struggle with from time to time, but you know what? A job is a job is a job. And I do realize it's a little bit weird how I can like come on camera right now and post myself looking like this to YouTube for just as many if not more people to see. But I don't know, it's just different between Instagram and YouTube. YouTube feels like a safe space for me to be crusty. I feel like when y'all click on one of my vlogs, y'all kind of expect me to look crusty. Like you're not expecting full glam when you click on one of my YouTube videos, so it's like, normal like i feel safe i feel normal coming on video like this but i don't feel normal i don't have that same level of confidence when it comes to instagram because instagram is more of a place where it's like more glam and more aesthetic and it's more all about that and so i guess i just start thinking about how like from the viewer's perspective you're going to be scrolling through all these like beautiful aesthetically pleasing pictures on instagram and then my picture's going to come up and like i don't want to stand out as like the crusty one you know what i mean so I don't know, it's different. YouTube is like where I can relax and, and be free, clearly. Versus Instagram sometimes is hard. And I think that's why I kind of low-key avoided Instagram for a long time until this year I started getting more serious about it and started wanting to like be an influencer on Instagram and try harder with my photos and stuff. But it is a lot of work and it is a lot of pressure and it's a lot of mental pressure. So I don't know. If anybody else out there is dealing with the same thing, just know I feel you. Mommy's getting a little reward too. Haven't tried these. I got peach and mango. Let's see if it's good. Hope it's good. I'm trying to avoid the home decor section, which we just passed by because I don't need to even look over there right now. We are here for Zaya. Okay, here's the Lego section. Is there a specific one that you're looking for? Or you just wanted to see what kind they had? Go back. This one looks cool. What is this? Music video maker. You need a phone for that. You like Harry Potter? You don't know nothing about no Harry Potter. Okay, we actually found these other ones that piqued Zaya's interest more than Harry okay. Potter. Cause I'm like, she don't even know what Harry Potter is really. I mean, if she wants it, that's fine. But so now you're saying you want this one instead? It's $29, so you actually need five more dollars, but I'll cover you this time. Did I lose $25? Yeah, you only brought 25, but it actually cost 30. Are you sure that's the one you want? Okay, just kidding y'all. We came down the other aisle and found all the whole set of this Lego Friends stuff that Zaya likes. So they had a bunch more options. So I think we're switching out the pet clinic for the camping adventure. Are you super sure? I know it's a lot of choices. I really like this one. Okay, we can go with that one. We also just found some nice classic clear jelly shoes for Zaya. She wears size 11 now because clearly these are the ones she's wearing today and they have seen better days. Clearly they're literally brown and the Velcro doesn't even work. She just wears them with the thing flying open. So I'm like, let's go ahead and replace those. These look a little bit sturdier. Those are from Walmart for like, probably like $5. These are like $10, but they're like a little bit better quality. And she really likes these, so. Sorry, Walmart. Target wins this time. That thing has to touch the glass. Like this. Silly. There you go. <laughs> we came back from Target, we had dinner, and now I'm going to taste this. This is Barefoot Fruscato. Y'all know I love Kool-Aid wine, so this looks like my style. Peach or mango? Mm, I'm gonna try mango. Mom, you should try the peach, it's pink. The mango looks orange. Peaches are pink. Peaches are money, money. Smells extremely sweet, just like I like it. It even just looks sweet. Let's see. Very sweet, <laughs> very sweet. That's really good. If you love extremely sweet wines, like as sweet as you can get them, which is what I normally drink, you will love this fruit scotto. I'm sure the peach is good too. They also had strawberry, watermelon. I don't know if this is new or what, but I've never seen or noticed it. I just saw it at Target, so. Gets uh, five stars from me. And now Zion wants me to help her build her Lego set because she got one that is for ages six and up, I believe. <laughs> and she is four, so I guess it's a little difficult for her to put it together on her own. Mm. Zion, why do you have to dump it in my bedroom though? You have a whole playroom upstairs that you could do this in. So I guess we are going to end our Sunday evening with wine 
and Legos. And my house is a mess right now. Last thing I need is a bunch of Legos on the floor, but whatever. Okay, so. Well, we didn't finish building the Lego set last night. It was a little bit more complicated than we expected and didn't get very far before bedtime, but this is what Zaya did. Pretty good. <laughs>